Hey, what's happening? It's a uh, happy new year for one thing, and it's another episode of Watch You Strap In. And a uh, quick impromptu strap, uh, sorry, wristwatch check with strap of choice. And actually, I should have done this first, but uh, I usually show a, a, a new watch on its original strap before I start uh, showing it on other options. But long story short, uh, it, I don't wear leather uh, straps um, at work or you know, mostly in the weekdays when I work because uh, it's just uh, uh, just something I don't do because I, I clean my watches and leather straps you really can't clean as well. So I had to put it on something that was more washable. Anyways, uh, let me let me actually get rid of a little bit of lint on the dial. I'm just going to try to do this quick. This is on the stock. Uh, this is the Zen 103 Classic 12 Limited Edition 60th Anniversary Watch from Zen, of course. And uh, this is the first of the month, first of the year uh, of 2022. And so it was the first time I actually also uh, wore this stock strap, you know, other than when I first came in. I took it off pretty much immediately and just kind of set aside for when I could wear leather. And it is uh, a weekend and holiday weekend so i decided what the heck it's a nice uh dark green kind of uh uh textured or it's not really shiny but it's got this little bit of texturing going on and it's padded and you can see it kind of tapers the padding is nice but it tapers down thinner towards the buckle so it uh, will actually be pretty comfortable and not as bulky like all the way around uh, especially on the bottom of the wrist where the the straps tend to overlap right when it when it crosses over each other to, to buckle down and uh that's pretty much it it's just nice quality and it's very comfortable and uh there's no real break in time it's actually pretty pliable and everything which is great uh which is better than like i can say is for the secondary strap that it came with which was like a black crocodile or alligator textured it's not genuine but uh that one's rather stiff and it has contrast stitching it's all right i'll probably I'll try it sometime break it in but uh uh, this one is, I believe, the better of the, the two uh, uh, strap options that it came with. Um, and I think that dark green color kind of, uh, it's a nice complementary color. It sometimes looks it's so dark it almost looks black. Uh, I would say that for my wrist, that's just about seven inches or right under it. It fits really well, this overall, I mean, the, you know, uh, strap. Uh, but it is on the last hole. So if you have a smaller wrist, uh, you may have trouble uh, getting this to work on you. Uh, it'll probably be too loose, so you have to either add a hole, which I probably wouldn't recommend, or just get another aftermarket strap. Anyways, um, that's pretty much it. I'm going to try to back up the view here, uh, just to give you a perspective on how the watch wears. Yes, seemingly, I mean, 41 millimeters, the dimensions are pretty much like a 104, uh, which I owned uh, before, and it's a uh, Pretty great wearing wearing watch at 41 millimeters. It does definitely feel uh, looks a little bit smaller than 41 actually on the wrist, and and they got really short lugs as, as you can see. So does this. I think the lug length should be about the same as uh, 104 as far as I can remember. And most dimensions it is the same. I'd say the bezel might be a hair because of the way I see how it's angled, uh, a touch thicker and. Uh, there's definitely more of a dome on this crystal, the sapphire. Uh, but and also the fact that don't get scared by the 17 millimeter thickness. Uh, I know it seems like a lot, and and you gotta understand for automatic chronograph, most of them they will be on the thicker side. Uh, but keep in mind uh, that's with the crystals, and I say crystals because there's one on the top here and one in the back. And they both are domed, actually, the one on the bottom as well. So you look at the thick, the, if you can focus here, you look at the general thickness of that, the height of that crystal, that's probably at least another two millimeters. And you couple that with the one on the bottom, which I think it's pretty close to that as well. Maybe slightly less domed, but what, you're adding another four, let's see, three, no, probably around four, maybe five. Uh, millimeters to the thickness of um, the overall watch if you're including the crystals uh, um, let's just say break it even it's two millimeters extra so that's four millimeters if it's 17 so basically the case is about 13 
and it's not the fat slab side of the piece. You can see it's got a mid case, and so the rest is kind of, you know, the watch sinks into the wrist anyway, so you lose part of the, the thickness as it disappears, kind of or hidden behind uh, a bit of your, your skin or flesh on your wrist, and you got the bezel dividing the case up further so it doesn't look so thick overall from top to bottom. Uh, it's not actually that bad. You know, you get some wrist presence, but you can see off the wrist. I can try to show it. Um, it's 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 definitely wearable, more wearable than I think people uh, want to admit to when they first see the the dimensions and maybe haven't even tried it. So, anyways, that's about it. I gotta get going. So, uh, uh, happy New Year, and uh, catch you in the next. Thanks, bye.